Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Abbas Ali, a full-time orthopedic surgeon, a national level faculty of orthopedics and a part-time YouTuber. AIMS PG exam pattern has changed. Should you be worried? What are the new pattern of questions? How different is it from the previous papers? Should you drastically change your preparation? In this video, we will explore what are the changes made in the AIMS PG exam pattern and how you should go about preparing for such questions in the upcoming exams. So without further ado, let's get on with it. We all know historically AIMS PG exam was a paper with 200 single best answer MCQs that carried plus 3 for correct and minus 1 for wrong answers. Although there were lots of image based and factual questions, mostly the question paper was clinically oriented with problem solving scenarios. Also the propensity for concept getting repeated with similar questions was very high. In a nutshell, AIMS exam was getting predictable. This year the pattern is getting an overhaul. Firstly, all the information I am sharing with you today has been taken from the latest AIMS PG July Bash 2019 prospectus that is available online. The link to download is in the description box below. You can have a read yourself and if you find any changes yourself that need to be discussed, please write in the comment box below. The community and myself will help you as much as we can. I personally went through the types of question part of the prospectus to understand the change in the question pattern which I am going to discuss in this video with you. For everything else, I am sure you will find answers if you read the whole prospectus. So the first thing is what was the previous pattern aims like? There were 200 questions for MDMS exams and 90 questions for MDS paper. The questions were single best answer type with 4 options to choose from. This was a typical MCQ that you would face every day. There were a lot of image based and small video based questions also but the scheme of single best answer remained the same throughout the paper. The marking system of the previous paper was also very straightforward. Each correct answer would give you a score of one mark and each incorrect answer would give you a score of minus one third. So for simple math plus three for correct and minus one for wrong. The duration was three hours that is approximately 180 minutes for MD and MS exams and one and a half hours that is 90 minutes for MDS exams. Both the exams were computer based, single day, single shift, single paper exams starting at around 9 am in the morning. Sounds like a typical entrance exam. Yes, it was until today. Now the AIMS PG exam has seven different types of question pattern. Before we talk about them, what else has changed? The duration is still 3 hours that is 180 minutes for MD and MS but it has changed to 3 hours for MDS as well and they are still computer based single day single shift single paper exam starting at approximately 9 am in the morning. So let's see what are the new pattern of questions. There will be a total of 200 questions and they will have a total of 7 different patterns. The first type is the very familiar single best answer type. Now here each question will have four options where you have to select the single best option as your answer. If you get it right, you will get a plus one mark and if you get it wrong, it is a minus one third. For simple math, it's assumed to be plus three for correct and minus one for incorrect answer. So this is a more profitable question to approach. The second type will be the multiple true false type. Now this is an adaptation of the PGI pattern. Each question will have five statements and you will have to mark each statement as either a true or a false statement. Each correct true or false response will give you one fifth plus and each incorrect true or false response will give you a minus one fifth mark. For simple math, let's assume plus five for correct and minus five for incorrect answer. But this will be awarded for each response individually. Again, a very balanced risk question. The third type will be a match the following type. Here each question will have two columns with four items in column A that need to be matched appropriately with the best options available in the next column, column B. Sounds straightforward, doesn't it? No, it's not. According to the example cited in the prospectus, it looks like the second column will have more options than the first column. So you can't just blindly match the remaining options to each other. And now each correct match will give you one fourth plus and one fourth minus for each correct and incorrect response respectively. So for simple math, let's assume plus four for each correct match and minus four for each incorrect match. Again, a very balanced risk question. Now the fourth type of the question is the sequential arrangement type. 
This is not a brand new pattern. We have seen these questions previously. Here each question will have a list of options that need to be arranged in an order or in a sequence that is indicated in the question. If you arrange the whole sequence correctly, you will be given plus one. And if the sequence is incorrect, it will be awarded as minus one. No points for getting it partially correct. The whole sequence has to be correct. Again, a very balanced risk question. The fifth type of the pattern is multiple correct type. In multiple correct type of a question, each question will have four statements. And among these four statements, one or more statements can be correct. Apart from that, you will have four options provided, like only A is correct, both A and B are correct, both A and C are correct, or all A, B, C and D are correct. You have to choose an option which accurately represents the correct statements. This is not totally a new question. We are used to these kind of questions but they will be there now in your AIMS exam. If you get it right, you get a plus one fourth mark. And if you get it wrong, it's a minus one fourth mark. For simple math, let's assume plus four for correct and minus four for incorrect answer. Again, a very balanced risk question. The sixth type of question pattern is the reason assertion type. Now, all of us are familiar with these type of questions from our pre-medical days. We have also seen a few in previous All India exams. Here, each question will have two statements, an assertion and a reason. The appropriate answer should be marked using one of the following five statements. Statement number one would be both assertion and reason are true. And the reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. Statement number two is both assertion and reasons are true, but the reason is not the correct explanation for the assertion. Statement number three is assertion is true, but the reason is false. Statement four, assertion is false, but the reason is true. And finally, statement five, both assertion and reasons are false statements. If you get it right, you get a plus one fourth mark. And if you get it wrong, it's a minus one fourth mark. For simple math, again, let's assume plus four for correct and minus four for incorrect. Again, a very balanced risk question. The seventh type is the EMQ or the extended matching question. This is something we have seen in the past when we had independent exams for various autonomous institutes. It is also seen very commonly in many European exams. Here, there will be a theme or a focus of a question. After that, there will be a list of options, approximately eight, according to the prospectus. Then there will be around two clinical scenarios. Each clinical scenario will be detailed case history with required labs. And at the end of each scenario, there will be a question whose answer you have to choose from the eight options provided above. You get a plus one marks for correct answer for each scenario and minus one for wrong answer for each scenario. Number of scenarios in each question may vary. Again, a very balanced risk question, but looks like extremely time consuming. You have to be careful not to waste too much of your valuable time here. So to summarize, what are the main changes? For MDS paper, the duration of exam has increased from one and a half hour to three hours. And also the questions have increased from 90 to 200. For MD and MS exam, the duration and the number of questions remain the same. Almost six new patterns of questions have been introduced. Although most of them you're familiar with, it just goes to show that they will actively introduce these new types of questions. The new types are multiple true false type, match the following type, sequential arrangement type, multiple correct type, reason and assertion type and extended matching questions with clinical scenarios. Finally, the best news is that the majority of the MCQs for the coming July 2019 session will be the single best response type, your typical MCQs, so you don't have to worry too much there. The changes will be reflecting more in the future exams. See, this was an inevitable change that was to be expected from the apex institute of our country because the typical rote method of learning was getting redundant and boring. I think rather than just practicing the previous AIMS paper and memorizing MCQs, this will make it easy for students with deeper understanding of the subject to score more marks. It's an interesting change nevertheless. Now the winds of this change will reach NEET PG and DNB or not? Only time will tell, we can't say. For people who are afraid or sad because of this change, just remember, this change is not an exclusive change for you alone. It's a change for the whole generation. So if you're finding it very hard, everyone else will also find it hard. This is like a reset button in the future preparation of aims. Use it as your advantage. 
If I've helped you navigate the change in pattern, click the thumbs up button to show me love. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload my next video. Share this video with your friends who are preparing for the central exams. Ask me any query about these changes and question patterns in the comment box below. I'll try to answer them. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.